the Los Angeles Lakers are an American professional basketball team based in Los Angeles. The Lakers compete in the Nas National Basketball Association as a member club of the league's Western Conference Pacific Division. The Lakers play their home games at Staples Center, an arena shared with the NBA's Los Angeles Clippers and the Los Angeles Sparks of the WNBA and the Los Angeles Kings of the NHL. The Lakers are one of the most successful teams in the history of the NBA and have won 16 championships, their last being in 2010. As of 2015, the Lakers are the second most valuable franchise in the NBA, according to Forbes, having an estimated value of $2.7 billion. So let's get started with their history now. The Lakers franchise began in 1947 when Ben Berger and Morris Chafin of Minnesota purchased the recently disbanded Detroit Gems of the NBL for $15,000 from Gems owner Mari Winston. Minneapolis sports writer Sid Hartman played a key behind the scenes role in helping put together the deal and later the team. Inspired by the Minnesota's nickname of Land of 10,000 Lakes, the team christened themselves the Lakers. Hartman helped them hire John Condola from College of St. Thomas to be their first head coach by meeting with him and selling him on the team. The Lakers had a solid roster which featured four Jim Pollard, playmaker Herm Schaefer, and center George Mikan, who became the most dominant player in the NBL. In their first season, they led the league with a 43 and 17 record. In 1948, the Lakers moved from the NBL to the BAA and Mikan's 28.3 points per game scoring average set a BAA record. In the 1949 BAA Finals, they won the championship, being the Washington Capitals four games to two. The following season, the team improved to 51-17, repeating as champions. In the 1950-1951 season, Mikan won his third straight scoring title at 28.4 points per game and the Lakers went 44-24 to win their second straight division title. One of those games, a 19-18 loss against the Fort Wayne Pistons became infamous as the lowest scoring game in NBA history. In the playoffs, they defeated the Indianapolis Olympians in three games but lost to the Rochester Royals in the next round. During the 1951-1952 season, the Lakers won 40 games, finishing second in their division. They faced the New York Knicks in the NBA Finals, which they won in seven games. In the 1952-1953 season, Mikan led the re league in rebounding, averaging 14.4 rebounds per game, and was named MVP of the 1953 NBA All-Star Game. After a 48 and 22 regular season record, the Lakers defeated the Fort Wayne Pistons in the Western playoffs to advance to the NBA Finals. They then defeated the New York Knicks to win their second straight championship. The Lakers star George Mike and suffered from knee problems throughout the 1953 to 1954 season. He was still able to average 18 points per game. Clyde Lovelett, who was drafted in 1952, helped the team win the Western Division. The team won its third straight championship in the 1950s and fifth in sixth season, when it defeated the Syracuse Nationals in seven games. Following Mikan's retirement in the 1954 offseason, the Lakers struggled but still managed to win 40 games. Although they defeated the Rochester Royals in the first round of the playoffs, they were defeated by the Fort Wayne Pistons in the semifinals. Although they had losing records the next two seasons, they made the playoffs each year. Mikan came back for the last half of the 1955-1956 season, but struggled and retired for good after this season. Led by Lovelitz's 20.6 points per game and 13.5 rebounds, they advanced to the conference finals in 1956-1957. The Lakers had one of the worst seasons in team history in 1957-1958 when they won a league low 19 games. They had hired Mikan, who had been the team's general manager for the previous two seasons, as head coach to replace Kundla. Mikan was fired in January when the team was 9-30 and Kundla was rehired. The Lakers earned the top pick in the 1958 NBA draft and used it to select Al Jim Bayer, Baylor. Baylor, who was named NBA Rookie of the Year and co-MVP of the 1959 NBA All-Star Game, averaged 24.9 points per game and 15 rebounds, helping the Lakers improve to second in their division by a 33-39 record. 
After upsetting the Hawks in six games in the division finals, they returned to the NBA finals but were swept by the Celtics beginning their long rivalry. In their last year in Minneapolis, the Lakers went 25-50 and on January 18, 1960. The team was coming off a loss and traveling to St. Louis when their plane crash landed. Snowstorms had driven the pilot 150 miles off course when he was forced to land in a cornfield. No one was hurt. Their record earned them the number two pick in the 1960 NBA draft. The team selected Jerry West from West Virginia University. During the 1960 offseason, the Lakers became the fir- NBA's first West Coast team when owner Bob Shore decided to move the team to Los Angeles. Led by Baylor's 34.8 points per game and 19.8 rebounds, the Los Angeles Lakers won 11 more than the year before West's fi- first season. On November 15th that season, Baylor Baylor set a new NBA scoring record when he scored 71 points in a victory against the New York Knicks while also grabbing 25 rebounds. In doing so, Baylor broke his own NBA record of 64 points. Despite a losing record, the Lakers made the playoffs. They came within two points of the NBA Finals when they lost in Game 7 of their second round series against St. Louis. Led by... Baylor and Baylor and West at 38.3 points per game and 30.8 points per game respectively. The Lakers improved to 54 and 26 in 1961 and 1962 and made the finals in a Game Five victory. Baylor grabbed 22 rebounds and set the still standing NBA record for points in a finals game with 61, despite fouling out of the game. The Lakers. However, lost to the Celtics by three points in overtime of Game 7. Frank Selvey, after making two jumpers in the final 40 seconds to tie the game, missed a potential game-winning 18-foot jump shot in regulation, a miss which he said in June of 2010 still haunted him more than 40 years later. Los Angeles won 53 games in 1962-1963 behind... Baylor's 34 points per game and West 27.1 points per game, but lost in the NBA Finals in six games to the Celtics. After falling to 42 and 38 and losing in the first round of the 1964 playoffs to the Hawks, the team won 49 games in the 1964 and 1965 season. The Lakers surged past the Baltimore Bullets in the division finals behind West's record setting 46.3 points per game in the series. They lost again to the Celtics in the finals, however, this time in five games. Los Angeles lost in the finals to Boston in seven games, again in 1966, this time by two points. Down by 16, entering the fourth quarter and 10 with a minute and a half to go, the Lakers mounted a furious rally in the closing moments, which fell just short. After dropping to 36 wins and losing in the first round of the 1967 playoffs, they lost in the finals to the Celtics again in 1968. Los Angeles moved to a brand new arena, the Forum, in 1967 after playing seven seasons at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena. On July 9, 1968, the team acquired Wilt Chamberlain from the Philadelphia 76ers for Darrell Limehoff, Archie Clark, and Jerry Chambers. In his first season as a Laker, Chamberlain set a team record by averaging a league-leading 21.1 rebounds per game. West, Baylor, and Chamberlain each averaged over 20 points, and Los Angeles won their division. The Lakers and Celtics again manned the finals, and Los Angeles had home court advantage against Boston for the first time in their rivalry. They won the first game behind Jerry West 53 points and had a 3-2 lead after 5. Boston won the series in seven games, however, and earned their 11th NBA championship in 13 seasons. West was named the first ever Finals MVP. This remains the only time that a member of the losing team has won the award. In 1970, West won his first scoring title at 31.2 points per game. The team returned to the Finals and for the first time in 16 years, they did not have to face the Celtics, instead playing the New York Knicks who defeated them 4-3. The next season, the Lakers were defeated by the Milwaukee Bucks, led by future Laker Lou Alcindor, also known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, in the Western Conference Finals. The 1971-1972 season brought several changes. Owner Jack Kent Cooke brought in Bill Sharman as head coach 
and Elgin Baylor announced his retirement early in the season after realizing that his legs were not healthy enough. Charmin increased the team's discipline. He introduced the concept of the shoot-around, which, where players would arrive at the arena early in the morning before a game to practice shots. They won 14 straight games in November and all 16 games played in December. They won three straight to open the year of 1972, but on January 9th, the Milwaukee Bucks end their winning streak by defeating the Lakers 102-104. to By winning 33 straight games, Los Angeles set a record for the longest winning streak of any team in American professional sports. The Lakers won 69 games that season, which stood as the NBA record for 24 years until the Chicago Bulls won 72 games in the 1995-1996 season. Chamberlain averaged a career low of 14.8 points per game, but led the league in rebounding at 19.2 a game. West, 9.7 assists per game, led the league. He also averaged more than 25 points and was named MVP of the 1972 All-Star Game. The team failed to score 100 points just once all year. And at the end of the season, Bill Sharman was named Coach of the Year. The Lakers went on to reach the finals against the New York Knicks, where they would average their 1970 finals loss, avenge their 1970 finals loss by defeating them four games to one. Chamberlain tallied 24 points and 29 rebounds in Game 5 and won the NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. The Lakers won 60 games in the 1972-1973 NBA season and took another Pacific Division title. Wilt Chamberlain, playing in his final season again, led the league in rebounding and set the still-standing NBA record for field goal percentage at 72.7%. The team defeated the Chicago Bulls in seven games in the conference semifinals, then the Golden State Warriors in five in the Western Division Finals. They played the New York Knicks in the 1973 NBA Finals. The Los Angeles took the first game by three points, but New York won the series in five games. In the 1973-1974 season, the team was hampered by the loss of West, who played only 31 games before his legs gave out. Goodrich averaged 25.3 points, helping the team to a late-season surge, trailing the Golden State Warriors by three games with seven left to play. The Lakers rallied to finish 47-35 and win the Pacific Division. They made the playoffs, but managed just win one win against Milwaukee in the conference semifinals. Following the season, West retired due to contract disagreements with Cook and filed a suit for unpaid back wages. After missing the playoffs in the 1974-1975 season, the Lakers acquired Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who had won three league MVPs by that time. Abdul-Jabbar won out of Milwaukee, demanded a trade e- to New York or Los Angeles. He was traded for Elmore Smith, Brian Winters, Junior Bridgman, and Dave Myers. Abdul-Jabbar had his fourth MVP season in 1975-1976, to leading the league in rebounding, block shots, and minutes played. The Lakers struggled in January, going 3-10 and and finished out of the playoffs at 40-42. West and Cook sell their differences in the former Lakers lawsuit, and Cook hired him to replace Charmin as the team's coach. West became upset, however, when Cook refused to spend the money necessary to acquire for Julius Irving, who the Nets were selling. Behind another MVP season from Abdul-Jabbar, Los Angeles won the Pacific Division, finishing the 1976-1977 season a league-best 53-29. and They defeated the Warriors in the seven-game series to open the postseason before being swept by Portland in the Western Conference Finals. During the offseason, Los Angeles picked up Jamal Wilkes from Golden State and signed first-round pick Norm Nixon. In the first two minutes of the first game of the 1977-1978 season, Abdul-Jabbar punched Buck center Kent Bist Benson for an overly aggressive elbow and broke his hand. Two months later, a healthy Abdul-Jabbar got into an altercation with Houston Rockets center Kevin Cunard after a rebound. The team starting power forward Kermit Washington, who was averaging 11.5 points and 11.2 rebounds, entered the fight when Rudy Tomjanovic ran in from the bench to break up the action. Washington punched him in the face. Tom Janovic nearly died from the punch, suffering a fractured skull and other facial injuries, which prematurely ended his playing career. Washington, who say they assumed Tom Janovic was a combatant, was suspended for two months by the NBA and released by the Lakers. The team won 45 games despite being down a starter in Washington and not having Abdul-Jabbar for nearly two months, but first lost in the first round of the playoffs to Seattle. 
During the 1978 to 1979 season, the team posted a 47 and 35 record, but lost to the SuperSonics in the semifinal round of the playoffs. The 1979 NBA Draft, Los Angeles selected six foot nine point guard Magic Johnson from Michigan State with.